Hi Leos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Let's get right straight to it. So let me see what's going on with the oracle. Let's start with an oracle for you guys. Let's see what's going on. You have here awakening. So the Leos are waking up over the weekend. <laughs> I'm kidding. Maybe you've been asleep and now you're woke. This is what they say. Now, um, we all come to different parts of our life where we feel more in tune and connected. That's how I see awakening is we're more connected with ourself and then with the divine i mean we we you know we have all have different ways of connecting you know with the ethers and once you tap into that um i feel like this is the moment where you get to know more of what your soul purpose is what's the meaning of your existence what the direction of your life um where you're supposed to be headed because now you're not sleeping you're awakening <laughs> your woke okay it's a lovely symbol over here which is the lotus and lo the lotus over here is a uh, you know it's a transformation where out of the muddy water it will come out and it will blossom to something amazing right and it never actually the lotus never touches the murky part anymore it uplifts itself and it's just gorgeous so that's you okay so let's begin i'm using the ankh deck which is uh, one of our creations also and the, I'll put the link of the tarot deck um, that we use okay, in the description. Okay. So let's see what's going on for you guys. How's the Leos? Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on. Okay. 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 Right off the bat, Leo, um, paniki bat. No, <laughs> right off the bat, there is a <laughs> bat is paniki. Okay. Um, there are a lot of conflict in your life, and I'm seeing here family issues are be are coming to surface. Um, there's a lot of contradicting opinion in the family dinner or just connecting with your mom. It becomes um, a little bit of like a stressful situation. Let's keep it that way. Um, you're putting a hold on, um, I feel like uh, you're going to cancel a lot of meetings, meaning a lot of invites. Uh, and you would say, he's like, eh, I, I don't want to attend. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go here. But you're very selective. Now, the reason why you're putting a pause to this is because there is someone that caught your eye. Mm -hmm. It's not a pink eye. Don't worry. It's someone that caught your eye. Someone you like right now. Um, this is a person can be from a distance, far from you, famous, successful, all glory, the works. You know, you put. You know, like this person gets a lot of attraction like crazy. Um, they're known for what they do and they're very skillful. They know their sole purpose and you're mesmerized by this person. It feels like, you know, a moth attracted to like the lamp. But you know how you go closer to the lamp, you get genie. No, you go closer to the lamp, you can get burned. So now for you, you're having issues whether should I, shouldn't I um, connect with this person? Because if I do, it's, I've, you feel that it can lead to more pain. Hmm. Now, it is in your understanding that you have to lose some to win some. There are things that you will cut off in your life and I feel like there's a lot of work. Um, there's a build up, there's a pile up, there's uh, schedules after schedule, like you can't even catch a break. And this is the part where you're gonna take some break um, is the work part, okay? Because you wanna focus on relationship. Now, the person that you're connecting with have issues with regards to finances. Um, they are a little bit um, troubled by what they have created. They have Nine of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. They're not seeing um, hope right now. They're always the hopeful, but now they're, hope they're feeling hopeless. They got themselves in a kind of like a, um, a situation where they don't know how to get out of it. You know, they manifested something big, business, career, finances, 
a promotion and then now they don't want it. The reason being is I feel like they miss you. Now, you're all about travel. You're all about success. You're all about moving forward in life, especially in the direction of relationship. There are people who wants to be with you, around you, but you're very selective. You have one person in your mind, and this is the person that we're seeing here. The rest can get the F out of. This is what you're saying. This person, you will make an offer. They'll be thinking about what you're about. Uh, they'll be thinking about what you're giving them. You have the Two of Wands and the Four of Swords. Meaning, they're gonna go deep within before they accept your offer. Five of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, right? You have the Star and the Sun card on their end. So this person really have um, focus on you. They really do have focus on you. And you have Two of Swords and the Four of Wands, which is the direction, like what I mentioned, that you want. The relationship has to manifest this is what I want, this is what I desire. Then you have the Chariot and the Seven of Wands, which um, this is also, again, um, you setting boundaries at the same time, going for what you want in life. Now, the person is stressed, Nine of Swords, whether they're ready to settle or not. They're ready, but they're anxious. They don't know if this is the right thing to do right now, you know, to be committed. Four of Swords and the Two of Wands on their end. So since they have all this stress inside their head, they will shut down on you and they would ask, or I don't think they would even ask, they would just not respond to anything that you're asking of them right now. So you may feel ignored by this person. So let me see what's causing this stress for them in the Grand Reveal, okay? The Grand Reveal is my own version, the original version, because there is the Grand Tableau right? Table, I think it's called. If you're doing um, table, whatever, okay? Sorry to the Lenormand people, okay? I didn't mean to butcher you, okay? <laughs> I'm just a guy standing in front of a screen wanting to be loved, okay? <laughs> Nothing here. <laughs> so nine of swords, so I have my own version, which is the grand reveal. Mm -hmm. I probably did it in my last lifetime. That's why I'm still here, okay? <laughs> Creating more occultism. Mm -hmm. Nine of Swords over here. The stress that they have. I, get, I choose five because five is a conflict number, which means you're try, they're trying to address each corner. And then the only, corn, the only thing that is important is in the middle, which is you. You have the five of wands also, which means you're trying to address everything all at the same time. It brings conflict. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get that. Now, this four of wands that you have, Leo, I want to see this relationship blossom. So let's see, what, what is this relationship about? I'm going to get 11 for that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think it's 11. Okay, because a lot of people resonate with 11, 11. So angel numbers. Mm -hmm. I like lottery numbers more than angel numbers. I know the angels are giving, but I feel like a mega ball, mega ball, mega lotto also gives. Okay, <laughs> give me, give me mega lotto. Okay. Now the boundaries that you're setting with this person with the seven of ones. I want to know why you're getting tired of this. Um, it can be because it's on delay, and I know you as a fire sign. Of course, you wouldn't want no delay. Okay, now what is this person wishing? Because the star card is about you and them. They feel like this is destined. They feel like there is this soul connection between the two of you and they feel wonderful actually. Okay, I'm gonna be Kylie, okay, Kylie Jenner today, <laughs> Kylie Jenner, and give you 20 cards for the wish fulfillment because they want this anyway and they have the sun card. You're the wish granted for them. Four and then five and then I'll get 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I get five more for their wish. One, two, three, four, five. So there, Kylie generous today. Very, very generous for the Leo. Okay. Wow, this person is gonna be red to filth. Okay. <laughs> because all the cards has been used on them. Now, in your crossroads in your life, I know you're gonna say here, Leo, if what happens if I separate? What happens if I stay? Then let's see. All right. And the chariot, where is the direction of your life headed? You get two, two cards also there. Okay. So this is what I can see for you guys. I'm going to continue this reading with the grand reveal. But let me see what... Okay, I feel like the Leos, what do I recommend? You know what I recommend for you? 
I want money for you. Let me get you for money. <laughs> Here we go. Now, um, not just money, but this is also protection. You know, um, you don't have to ha buy it or anything. You just have to look at it. <laughs> okay. Um, this is citrine. Now, this is heated. We do have natural, and then this is heated. So, the only difference between heated and natural, of course, natural takes thousands of years to process, and then heated. You know, they put it and then they heat it. They speed up the process. Now, does it work whether it's heated or natural? For me, it's more of your faith, it's more of your belief, and it's more of your manifestation. So it's more of the consistency of what you're doing. So I feel like you are trying to um, generate wealth, career, and finances. Um, that's why you, you know, you're you cutting you know certain situations in your life. You also want to buy a home with the four of ones. So this is going to be good for your abundance and prosperity. Okay, so do check it out. We do have a citrine at the store. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of citrines there. All right, so Leos, let me continue this reading with the grand reveal. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys again. Bye.